It's rowdy here in Fist Energy Stadium. Even though the economy is a mess in this city, these are some of the best sports fans in the country. I heard things were so bad that Lakeland Casino was turned into an Indian reservation, Grim. Yeah, why don't you just open a window and take a lake all over the fans? Today's matchup is going to be complete mayhem. The teams are taking the field. The Los Angeles Volts go up against the Cleveland Burns. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey, man, you see that? That's right, you can't handle this. You can't handle what I got. Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. Grim Blitzrow with you along with my partner, former player Brickhead Mulligan. Hi. And his life partner, the mini mutant head that lives on the shoulder of Bricks Jr. Hey, you just threw up on my shoulder. I don't often drink beer, but when I do, I get totally shit-faced. I am the world's most intoxicated man. Say that again. And it's first and ten. Worse than wasting a good explosive. Second down and ten. He picks up five on that play. Third down and five. Threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. The quarterback goes down. Zoom on his face. I want to see if he's crying. Yo, man, nobody can touch me when I'm off. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Second down and ain't going to happen, partner. Shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Man, big deal. Missed a beat for Bray Graham with a ball and didn't fall out. And here comes the extra point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. I just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking. I mean, when they're not yawn. And it's first and ten. <laughs> and he gets three yards on that run. Second down and seven. Nicely done for a first down. And it's 
First and ten. And this guy runs angry and runs hard. First down. And it's first and ten. And it's first and ten. All right, don't get covered your ears, Bricks. And he zips that one in there for a touchdown. See that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see it come too fast. <laughs> Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a frog in my bed. It was a chip wearing a First and ten. First down! This guy just loves to hit people as hard as he can, Grim. I don't even think he knows what a first down is. And it's first and ten. You've got to catch that. Second down and ten. Oh, and he just turns ginormous. Look at Bumble. You've got to protect the ball better than that. And like bricks his bowels, he is loose and heading for the down. He could go all the way. for the extra point. It's good. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. First and ten. Oh, and that's what it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have to made it the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> Remember, folks, in the NFL, you are allowed to touch the quarterback just like that. Third down in, the punter is warming up. This guy's a brick shit house, and they're picking up chunks of yards now. Nice reception for 10 yards. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. Nice punt. Should move them back nicely. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And it's first and ten. That's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run.
Second and three. That's the end of the first quarter, and it's still anyone's game. Second and three. And that'll give them four more downs to punish the defense. And you better believe they will. And it's first and ten. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters then. The kick is good! And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. They're going to be able to return this one. left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. They could not connect on that play. Second down and ten. He blasts it and picks up seven yards right there. Third down and three. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. putting together a hell of a drive here. And it's first and ten. Defense goes one speed. Man, that's a... Oh, what a sack there. I heard this guy likes to play with soft balls. He's going to play with crushed balls from here on out. Oh, <laughs>
Second down in a very lot. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Huh. I didn't know that was a penalty. Yeah, these roll changes are ruining the game, Prem. Second down and a month. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Second down and ain't going to happen, partner. Talk about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Third down and forever. A pickup of about three on that play. And they'll line up for the punt here. And punter for today is being played by my kid's sister. No return on this punt. The defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball's down. And it's first and ten. A nice run there for eight yards. Second down and two. Two minutes remain in the half. Wait, I gotta take a dump. Again? You just went. How is that even possible? Ah, it's the nachos, man. Want some? Don't worry. Man, this guy just ex and man hit jars the ball loose, and it's a fumble. That's what happens when you hurdle and take a hard hit. If you pay close attention, kids, you'll see his steps are making a perfect pentagram. Summon your own demons at home. <laughs> Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. And what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Oh, with the punishing hit. And it's first and ten. And that's a nice run for a first down. Smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. And it's first and ten. Oh, no, it's the sticky ball dirty trick. The defense pretty much turned the ball into a yo-yo of doom. Did you ever think you'd say that, Grim? A yo-yo of doom? No, my friend. I didn't. I love this job. Second down and long. That's a great nine-yard completion there. Hey, it ain't great if you don't score or move the chains. The quarterback is controlling the clock like the clock is into it. I know I am. Third down and eight. And that pass finds its target. A pickup of six yards on the play.
And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. Oh, no good. Now that punter's going to find a cutoff. He just let that one drop and played safe, and the defense says we'll take it. And it's first and ten. And he picks up ten on that run. Man, he nearly broke that one open, Bricks. Yeah, and I nearly married Trim Big Assian. And I nearly did not crap my pants earlier. Nearly as overrated, Grim. And they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. I won't listen to this blast for me. Hit that line the way a Republican congressman hits the airport men's room. Good and hard. First down. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? I'm gonna go into a strip tea show. Where we going? Hey, why don't you settle down just pet your rabbit, Lenny? Just pet your rabbit. Hey, man, I was going to get him now. You know what happened? They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Disappointing run, it's even a worse throw. Second down and nine. They run it for a yard. Third down and eight. Looks like they're just gonna pound it up the middle all night, Bricks. They call that the honeymoon offense. I'm not gonna touch that one. That's what she said. And it's first and ten. That's a six-yard gain on that catch. And that'll be second down and four. point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. <laughs> the best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and 
He runs it for three. Second down and seven. They get their hands up and block the pass. And that'll bring up third down and seven. First down! I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. And it's first and ten. With a burst of speed, he finds an opening and the first down. And it's first and ten. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had shown on today. Looks like it's a good fit. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. First down and six. He had it for a second there. Second down and six. Rumbles into the end zone for the score. I hope he's not going to dance now. Well, it should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. harder than that and that is unfortunate he's not just burning down the house he's taking it to the house man he's running like a bull on steroids that'll be a first down And it's first and ten. Nice run for five yards. Second down and five. Wow! The quarterback just threw a sonic blast to his receiver, knocking down... Oh! Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I 
can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a drawn in my bed. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, it sounds like my off season. And it's first and ten. And the defense was ready for that bombs way dirty trick that time. Second down and ten. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? And that'll bring up third down and seven. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And that brings us to the end of the third quarter. They'll need to fire on all cylinders to make a comeback in the final quarter. And it's first and ten. for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. Great run for a nine-yard gain. And that'll bring up second and one. The defense called a one speed dirty trick. Man, look at him go. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. And that'll bring up third and one. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret and our ladies of holy hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just the regular knuckles. And then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. Tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. He's supercharged and can electrocute any man. He just laid the wood on him on that one and knocked the ball out. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. Someone better buy this guy dinner tonight because he just saved a touchdown with that tackle. First down and one. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good.
They need a good return here to set up the offense. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. Well, that play didn't work. They'll have to rethink that. Second down and ten. And he rumbles for nine on that play. And that'll bring up third and one. First and ten. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And it's first and ten. Bricks, the offense has been relentless on this drive. Is the defense wearing green? Because they're doing everything but forcing a stop. And it's first and ten. It's the two-minute warning. You know what that means, right, Bricks? Yeah, take a giant whiz and get in a fight in the men's room. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. And he catches it for six yards. Good mitts on that play, Bricks. His fingers are like a bunch of sausages. Third down and ten. And an eight-yard gain on that one. Like when Bricks' mom decided to move back in with us. Smart move there as they call a timeout trying to get the ball back for another shot. A routine field goal, but as you know, nothing is routine in this league. Well, surprise me. He made it look easy and he gets three points for it. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And it's first and ten. Well, fee, five, fo, fum. I am not finishing that joke, Grim. The only low-hanging fruit is on that ginormous mutant, if you know what I mean. The QB saves some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. The offense just burned the defense pretty hard on that one. That is still edible, though. Just got to scrape off the chart. And they are out of timeout. The clock just became their greatest enemy. Really? The clock? The clock, Grim? I can smash a clock. That's not a great enemy. We're not talking. 
talking about waking up in the crack of noon. We're talking about the NFL, you moron. Boom! And it's first and ten. And he'll throw that one out of bounds. Any field goals over 40 yards are difficult. He's going to really have to boom this one. And the kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. Well, if you're into humiliation and scatological fetishes, this Burns loss was right up your alley. Well, there's a waste of an afternoon if you're a Leland fan. But if you're from Leland, uh, that's what everything feels like. I suppose so. After you. The home team comes up two points short and a real heartbreaker. It was also a backbreaker, a kneebreaker, and a neckbreaker. What, with the quake of the baker and the candlestick maker? What are you, three years old, you fucking simp? He's got a point, Bricks. Let's take it down to the MVP. Once again, the folks at Evil SM thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right every up.